actually Tigelka. There are three body. One is subtle gross body. One is subtle body. Subtle body when we are dreaming, we see from that. But the gross body is sleeping. And there is a such body. Uh, divine body. That we cannot see without the grass. And this body can develop perfection to see myself. I can develop this perfection that I can see that. For that we do present. Bhajan is only for this, to realize myself. He says, soul, if I say soul, means no fall. If this soul, and this is super soul, has no fall, then our relation will happen. This two bulbs, like a light, it's taking long time in this room, but no form is there. One is soul and one is super soul. Just little light giving it a soul. Okay, I accept Krishna as a super soul, but how I will see Krishna, because I am a light soul, I cannot see. Huh? Huh? That is impersonal. Huh? That light, I see myself light and I see Krishna. Light. And if I can see that He is my Son, Krishna is my Son, I am the father or mother, then how? Jesus said, I am a son. How? Without His realization? He realized that He is a son, His soul become like a son, and He sees the Father as a super soul. This was the fact, so he becomes perfection, he becomes Siddha in that consciousness and everybody start following. Relation. Without relation, love cannot increase. And from where to develop relation? From the body, from the senses, or from the mind. If I develop from mind, doubts are coming. When I develop relation with senses, I want to make relation with opposite sex, body, Ego is developing, I want to fulfill my sense desire. If I want to fly to America, I cannot walk from here. I have to take the flight, ticket to sit and go there. So if I want to go to Krishna, I cannot go with this walking way. I have to go is spiritual and that is spiritual consciousness is moving from the soul. It cannot go from other place. And Siddha means perfection. Doing practice and develop the perfection is Siddha. Prabhupada right? you have a Bhagavad Gita? On your back. Page 4, <coughs> Introduction. 
pagina 4 non ha detto di questo. Io non ho detto. Non sai. Page 4 in the next page. About relation. Oh, here's the introduction. I have it. Page four. Mm -hmm. You like to read it? Mm -hmm. I hear it. Where? Where did you hear? Loud. Uh, this yeah. one, one? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'll read the one previous. Little, two, three lines more. I'll read the previous yeah. sentence so we know the context. Yeah. Um, th that is a very elaborate. Mm. Mm. Said, said this, elaborate. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is best to understood to be underst best understood by a person who has qualities similar to Arjuna's. That is to say, he must be a devotee in a direct relationship with the Lord. Direct relation. Direct. Specific. Indirect relation will not work. This is indirect relation. As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. That is a very elaborate subject matter. But briefly... Elaborate subject matter. Elaborate. It's not, so. it's not easy to understand in, in the beginning. Mm. If you understand everything, understand. So that is a very elaborate subject matter. But briefly, it can be stated that a devotee is in a relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead in one of the five different ways. Then he says, um, Shanta, one may be a devotee in a passive state, one may be a devotee in an active state, one may be a devotee as a friend, one may be a devotee as a parent, one may be a devotee as a conjugal lover. Arjuna was in a relationship with the Lord as friend. Of course, there is a gulf of difference between this relationship, friendship and the friendship found in this material world. This is transcendental friendship, which cannot be had by everyone. Transcendental. Of course, everyone has a... In Eden, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, our Gaudiya Siddhant, everything is hidden. It's hidden. You can't see it. Now we see. say Hare Krishna meaning is very hidden. <laughs> of course, everyone has a particular relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. But in the present status of our life, we have not only forgotten the Supreme Lord, but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. Why? Because I forget myself, my identity. I fix my identity outside. Inside the It's everywhere. This, this topic is covered everywhere. Um, I, I, when I read the Bhagavad Gita, ah, Prabhupada is the one of the best Bhagavad Gita. He writes everything very hidden. Mm -hmm. How you think? <laughs> How you take this? Yeah. Wow. Read this. Continue? Yeah. <clears throat> Every living being, out of many, many billions and trillions of beings, has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. The, in the beginning, the Bhagavad Gita, you will see living being, millions and trillions, there are one. Is written there is a, there Individual. is one. I see that in Bhagavad Gita, first one. Wow. There is only one who understands this. You will see the original one. <coughs> that is called Swarup. Yes. Sarup. <coughs> that is Sarup. You know Sarup? My Siddha Deha. That is Sarup form, real form of myself. When I will not see, I cannot see Krishna. I will always see altar. Altar. Because suddenly I see. 
Somebody will say murti, somebody will say statue, somebody will say that Thakurji. stone or Thakurji. Thakurji, okay. But the statue, stone, they will say iron, like this, they will say. By the process of devotional service, one can revive that sarup. So what type that of is the goal, my dear, nothing good. To revive the sarup first, revive the sarup of ist myself, then is to their sarup will come. And when I will develop this perfection, every time perfection is there also to see. Because I am not perfect, I reject some time in this consciousness, so there is no perfection to see. I'll read that again. That is, um, by the process of devotional service, one can revive that sarup. And that stage is called Sarup Siddhi, perfection of one's constitutional position. So Arjuna was a devotee and he was in touch with the Supreme Lord in bas, friendship. Bas, that what? What is Sarup? And what is Sarup Siddhi? Prabhupada mentioned in the beginning of his introduction. Yes. Fifth page. What, page. what is his great mercy? And somebody say he is a Sakha Bhav and he is not was in this uh, very close. He said the Maha, said the Purush, he especially mentioned this. He is Nityanand himself. How he can say, if I don't understand, I don't understand. This is my mistake. Sarup means for, right? Not soul, <coughs> but he talks soul many places because to understand general people. Like us, we don't know what is the meaning of Saru. That is in the Siddhadeya. And this only can come by Bhajan. Read first. Narayan Maharaj also mentioned is a path of devotion that we need only greed for this. Greed can bring the air. <laughs> Nothing else. Very good book. I give you that book, no? I say to read that. Everybody has to read. Wow. Makes so simple. So complicated life becomes so simple. Only greed. <laughs> For this. Why, why, why is it kept hidden more, like covered up? Hidden? Is it hidden? But even more hidden, they're saying don't more go... More hidden because we are so much <coughs> thinking for our senses, is for them is hidden. From where I see? From there is a direct to see. From other places, when you leave, is very hidden. In this body, leave it, forget other things. Where I am, my conscience, and from there you see where I am standing, where I am leaving, my time I am giving, and why I am chanting to move that, my consciousness from there to there and take to the spirituality. Why I am chanting? Only this is the goal, right? So other places is a hidden. And from the spiritual place is direct to see. Is a person. And 
to get it, you kind of have to have the mood of gopis where you go against everyone sometimes. Radha Dasya. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Sarva Dharmana Pratajya Maam. Come to me. Maame <coughs> My one. Come to my one. Maam ekam. Ekam. I say, come to me. Why I say to come to my one? No need to say my one. <laughs> Maam ekam. Ekam means one. Come to my one. What is meaning? Ma, my one, who is Krishna's one? <coughs> Specific relationship? Radhika. Radhika. Go to Radhika. Ah. Take the shelter of Radhika to understand me. Not easy to understand me with the through the books. With other any efforts, it is not easy to understand. <coughs> if any small brain can understand, then how is it supreme? Impossible for the small brain to understand him, to keep it in mind. Only by the grace of Kishori. But in practical way, in our stage, only by the grace of Rasika Bhakta. Rasika means Radha Dasi. Yes. Dasi can bring to the boss. <laughs> this is the way. If you want to see Prabhupada, you have to take shelter of some his disciple, then he, you can go to Prabhupada. This is the way. If you want to see any Mahajan, any place you want to go, you have to take the, the process right way. Rasika. Rasika means Rasik. Rasik Sekhar is Krishna, but she is the queen of Rasik. Vrindavan is a place of Rasa, because she is the queen. And this is the mercy of Vrindavan. I said, why need to come from America if Krishna is a Supreme Personality of Godhead? Why I will come from America? He's not there. He's there. Beautiful America, right? Switzerland, Italy, beautiful because Krishna is living. Krishna is creation. But Vrindavan, he cannot do anything. He cannot clean. He cannot inspire to anyone to clean and nicely maintain it. Because this is the place he is sitting under the lotus feet of Radhika. He has no chair to sit anywhere. This is the beauty of Vrindavan. Um, he, he wants to know something. So Mahaprabhu, you know? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya. When I see Panchatattva Mahaprabhu, I see only Radha. You see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radhika. No, see Krishna. Krishna is inside of everyone. Who is not, uh, Krishna is not living, not living inside you? He is inside him also, every place. If he is in, inside of Mahaprabhu, he is not big meaning. The big meaning is Radhika. Chaitanya is Radhika. Gauranga and Gaurangi. Nityanan is Anangamanjari. And Gajadhar is Radha Sakti. And Mahavishnu and Guru Narad. Narad is Guru. Both are worshipping this divine. 
every in the inverse, every point, every corner is Radha Shakti. <coughs> you see Mahavishnu and Narada. So they are worshipping. Krishna is normal for them. They have to do this. But they are worshipping to Panchitattva in the form we worship because of this meaning we understand. Radha Dasyam is the same as Radha Dasyam is the first step. Radha Dasyam, <coughs> like a, like a male body. The human is a male. Some are female. Sadik. Huh? Sadik. The physical form is a male and female. And what is our male nature? To enjoy. Is the nature of the male, enjoying. And the female nature to enjoy it. Right? Two types of things. If I become enjoyer, then enjoyer is far from me. If I want to become enjoyer, enjoyed, then enjoyer will come to me. Then we have to take decision what we want. It becomes far because I want to enjoy. If, if I got the female body or male body is no meaning. Meaning what is my desire? Inside. If this desire is there, Krishna, I cannot be close with. And to develop this, to come out from the in enjoyment tendency, to come in it, by enjoy, we have to come in a spiritual form. We have to come out from the gross consciousness. That is Rupa Goswami preaching, Abhidhya. Living in this body, you detach your body consciousness, go in This is Abhidhya. Deha, Abhidhya. Deha means body, and Abhi means how you can out from your body. Gross body. How I can go out? When I am in this gross body, I have to go out from the gross body. No, if I will go out, then I will cannot do bhajan. So living in this gross body, we have to feel abhidaya. We have to out from this gross body. No? Abhidaya. <laughs> you see, every priyojan will clear, sammandha will clear, priyojan will clear. Jesus, he was a 
was also pure devotee. And that time, he also gave the seed of love, relation. And that time it was very new for others. Uh, Vedic, Vedic or Karmkandis, this philosophy for them. So they don't accept him. Because from where he bring this philosophy, it was very attractive and very, very easy to understand. Because he was understanding and he wants to help others. And easy to, more clear, coming slowly. You see the bad, the Vedas, there are no any topic, only Karamkanda is there. Whole Veda is full of Karamkanda. Only some slokas are bhakti mark, not prema bhakti. Easy to influence with Karamkanda. Say more and than sampada. Than and sampada. You understand him, you like? Say more bhajan, bhajan and pujan. This is my bhajan and pujan. Why bhajan? For this. Say more a tapa. What I tapa, tapasya, I do the uh, austerity and brata, what it meaning? This is to do the brata. Promise for this. Huh? Not uh, four days fasting. <laughs> meaning, what is meaning? Why we do the ekadasi? To f find this stage of consciousness. 